Hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you read by the title today's video will be the worst comeback of 2020. These are all based of my personal opinion and taste and you can disagree with me. But please be respectful in the comments. I have no intention to disrespect any of the idols that I will be mentioning in this video or disrespect their hard work and effort that they have put off for their work. This video is opinionated and it doesn't mean that y'all can agree with me. These are just some of the comebacks that I didn't personally enjoy this year and that's all not that deep. Without getting this intro too long let's jump into the video. Look I love more and more the song is not bad but is not good. The reason why I parted this comeback in the 10th place is that this comeback was extremely dry and forgettable for me. It went just so fast and no one really talks about it anymore. However I can appreciate the beautiful music video and outfits were great, but I didn't like how JYP spoiled the whole song before it got released and I wasn't even exited anymore. Because I basically knew the whole song, so yeah more and more is just so dry as a comeback for twice. Before y'all jump on me, I love Dynamite so much, and is a cute little song. The boys had huge success with this song, but I didn't like how the promotions went and it just didn't feel right as a comeback for me. It was getting boring of them performing this song every two days, but I love the concept and the outfits all of them looked so great. The music video could have been better, but we are not gonna talk about that now. I know I'm not gonna get dragged for this, but Ice Cream is just a mess of a song. Lisa's rap part is just a joke. Jizu and Rose didn't even have any lines. But I love how Selena's voice is well up mixed with the song and the girls and I love their little friendship moments. Blinks didn't receive this comeback as great and that makes me dislike this comeback as a whole. Ice Cream is not as bad as everyone says, but it's just a no for me sorry. Look I don't stand 17 and I have said that on my other videos. They have some great comma backs, but I just don't like this song that much. The only part that I like is the chorus and that's all. No hate to anyone I just can't get into the song, but I like. Left and right though. I have been bopping to Momo Land's music for a long time, but this comeback was just so dry and forgettable as a whole. I didn't like the song it was not my taste and the outfits and the music video were not it. Some of the lyrics were just so cringe to me not gonna lie. However I like how the girls looked, and each of them were so beautiful, but I just didn't enjoy this comeback. Dun Dun is a great song, but this comeback was so messy. My getting 80% of the song and the dance break didn't sit right to me. The stage outfits were all the same but different colors. They got so much hate from this comeback I mean Maya got hate which was not her fault at all. This was so forgettable and no one really talks about this song at all. Not gonna lie I forgot this was in 2020. But the music video is their best one so far not gonna lie. I really thought that 2020 was gonna be Mamamoo's peak of career, but I was wrong. After Hip and Gogga Beep I was expecting so much from them. This song is not bad, but it's just so weird, and it needs something to add some spice into it, but nothing is on it. The last part was so messy, and it was like a different song. I expected so much more from Mamamoo after 2019. Being their best year, it was just like oh we didn't come back for a long time let's just make a song and call it a day. I wish they could get more time to make a better song than this. Look I know that this song is like a pre-release song, but they promote it, so it's like a comeback for me. After jopping I was expecting another bop from Super M, but what the fuck is this? 
I hate this song with burring passion. What the fuck is the chorus? The whole song is just a mess and is a big no for me. What was SM thinking? This just didn't go well for the either, but 100 is the worst songs that I ever heard in my life. No hate to the boys, but the song don't get me wrong. No matter what they do, we go resonate, resonate. I know this wasn't like a 100% comeback, but it was still a release. Just want to know, is this a joke? Did they do this song as a joke, so people can make memes out of it? Like what is this? Is this music? PLSNCT stands don't come at me, I think that kick it and make a wish are very great songs, but like for real they did the boys so dirty with that shit, is like a little kid make the song. This is not a title track and I don't know much about NCT or how this worked out, but this song is just a joke for me sorry. Fever was one of my favorite songs of 2019, and I was expecting so much from Gfriend, but this was not it for me. It sounds like you just mixed all of their title tracks together and this came out, not only the song, but the music video and the comeback was so forgettable. Don't get me wrong of thinking I hate Gfriend, because Apple and Mago are bops created from God but I just hate this song so much, I just can't get into this song and this comeback was one of their weakest. Alright girls and gays this is the end of this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making this video, again I'm not hating on any of these idols, since most of them are one of my alts but these are just some of the comma backs and releases of this year, that I didn't personally enjoyed, like and subscribe, if you enjoyed this video I will really appreciate it, ok now bye, and have a nice day or night.